Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haja and in case if you have been following me in the past and you might have noticed that I was offline for a while now to be specific since the beginning of this year and the reason being was simply I had to deal with diagnosis of a chronic health issue. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. That's why I had to take the time to take care of my mental and physical health and I'm sorry for letting you wait. However, I don't want to go further into this topic. I just want to let you know that my makeup journey as it has been all this time is going to take a twist. As I was so concerned about my health, I started to be more aware of what to apply to my skin and put into my body to help it heal or at least not to get worse within time. Because I'm a makeup artist and I do work with cosmetics, I did hours of research on the internet about the toxicity of cosmetics and found out that all the products I have been using in my makeup kit or bathroom are at some point toxic, even the ones that claim to be clean and natural. So I found out that there are plenty of ingredients used that are toxic and some not known to be toxic at the moment because there is a huge data gap and studies on those according to EWG. However, they could turn out to be harmful in the near or far future. We don't know about this yet. I found out that the FDA or EMA does regulate some of the known toxic ingredients and percentages in certain foods, drugs, and cosmetics so that industries are only allowed to use a small percentage into their products and be able to sell their product on the market. Now, if we take a moment and think of the fact how often we use those products, probably daily, because you have it in your makeup, skincare, food, water, environment, etc., it adds up. Then the little percentage of titanium dioxide, which is known to be harmful and is in probably 95% of your makeup, does affect your health in the long run because it is carcinogenic, which means it is able to cause cancer and mutate your gene and cause serious health issues. Now, here's a funny thing. The FDA or EMA both state that titanium dioxide in makeup is safe. But my question is what about titanium dioxide in lipsticks or powders? They are easily consumed or enhanced. All lipsticks I have in my kit contain titanium dioxide. From drugstore brands to high-end brands, they all have titanium dioxide or the code SI77891, which stands for it. They are not going to stop the cosmetic brands from selling their lip or powder products containing titanium dioxide because they know the beauty industry generates billions of money and taxes for them. I am aware that there are plenty more, even more harmful ingredients like parabens, formaldehydes, aluminum, sulfate, and PFAs, but I focused on titanium dioxide on purpose because it is proven that it is cancerous especially when consumed or inhaled and that one ingredient especially in every clean or dirty makeup product like powders and lipsticks because it works as a white pigment which gives the product a more pigmented and covering finish. In sunscreens it is used as a UV filter or whitening agent. In creams, foundations and sunscreens users have to be aware that titanium dioxide is not nano-sized, otherwise it will penetrate into your skin and basically mess up your body. By the way, this video is not meant to be educational, that is why I was not precise enough about the chemistry and the ingredients, but I plan to be more specific about that topic in the near future. Also, I'm in no way an expert in this field. I'm a makeup artist and cosmetician. I work with makeup and cosmetics. I'm just a consumer like you, but I want to be more aware as a consumer about what I apply to my skin because it is 
our biggest organ. I did my own research on finding non-toxic brands and it was not easy. The switch to using more clean products is so hard for me because makeup is my profession. To be honest, there are days where I just want to apply my favorite products, but then I remember my health and that applying makeup and cosmetics is something that is under my control. The thing is, there is not a lot of choice or good choice on the market because those brands that claim to be clean are not 100% clean or natural. However, I have found some good and well-known makeup, clean makeup brands, but they still use just a few harmful ingredients at the end of their list, meaning there is the least or small dose of that ingredient in that product. If you happen to know some good and clean makeup brands, let me know in the comment section because I would like to purchase them and review them for you in my future content. As for now, I decided to control the application of cosmetics by applying less of the non-toxic products for my everyday makeup. Because I work from home, I do not have the urge to apply any makeup on a daily basis. On the days where I need to record, like today, I will of course apply makeup to create content. I found one brand which I have purchased a whole new everyday makeup kit from called 100% Pure. Once the kit arrives, I will review and rate the products, so stay tuned for that video next. With that being said, the twist I was talking about in the beginning of this video is to help you find safer makeup and skincare products, which are by the way not only safe for you but also for our planet. Because all those toxic products we apply onto our skin and wash down at the end of the day will go into our tap water and into the ocean and cause serious health issues for animals and humans. So on my channel I'm going to help you with your makeup application just like before. The only difference will be the choice of the products I'm going to work with. So if you want to continue your journey with me I would encourage you to do so because I plan to support you being your healthiest and most beautiful from now on. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. Nice to meet you. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification to not miss out on my next video about my daily makeup routine using non-toxic new makeup products. Thank you and bye-bye.